What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. I know it's been a hot minute since we've been on here and you might be wondering why we're on the uh, Isla Sorna map from the Jurassic Park 3 Chaos Theory map. We're finally doing it. We're going to do an updated version of the carnivore only park. But we're going to do something a little bit different. This isn't going to be an ordinary park. We're going to have like maybe one facility, some amenities and whatever, and the rest of it's going to be a tour where you see every single carnivore roaming freely around the island. Maybe we could have them fight each other to make things more interesting, but every single carnivore is going to be added in. So we might split this into a few parts. We'll just, uh, what we'll do is, uh, we'll add in a few carnivores. Um, let's build the facility first. So what we want to do is build a arrival point. We want to get an arrival point going. All right, we got that. And then we need one hotel, one bathroom. We need to be all set to go. Let's keep it like Jurassic Park style. This is kind of like a, a Site B, but with carnivores, basically. And you can see the dinosaurs and whatever. I will do the same thing with the herbivores once we do that. So I'm thinking we do the herbivores on Nublar and the carnivores on Sorna. So we'll have the carnivores live here. So we'll do the carnivore-only sanctuary. Yeah, only carnivores are going to be in this sanctuary. And then we'll start throwing the carnivores in. Yeah, I figured just to change things up, we'll make like a biological preserve slash whatever else. So, let's have the facility go here. Surround this by a fence. And we're going to need room for the park tour. This can just fit. Alright, so what we're going to do, what we might end up doing... Actually, maybe move the buildings a little more so we could make room... For the, for the uh, park tour. We'll move you over here. And we'll move you over here. Yeah, I know it's been a hot minute since we've been on here. But I was uh, playing Funko Fusion for Jurassic World. The Jurassic World one. So we got that. Alright. Let's go ahead and throw that bathroom in here. There we go. We should be good to go now. We should have everything we need. Now let's get that park tour going. We'll have this go around here, all the way around. I want them to have the experience of a lifetime. That's kind of the goal here. Every single carnivore will be released in this very place. And there we go. That's that completed. And now let's build a path for the people to get there. There we go. All right, all we need now is, I'm thinking a couple of hatcheries. So we can have carnivores on each side. So we'll have like maybe three hatcheries. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Three hatcheries, one for each corner. So we'll put some carnivores here, some carnivores here, and some carnivores here. Yeah, yeah, that could work. That could work. And we'll get every single one, piscivores and all. I don't know where exactly we're going to put it, but we'll have to wait and see. And I'm guessing we'll put feeders everywhere so then the dinosaurs can have whatever they want. I'm sure we'll have carnivores spreading out everywhere and whatever. All right, let's set this up, have some carnivores maybe go in here, maybe? All right, that's obstructed, obstructed, obstructed. Everything's obstructed, so let's... We may have to move the hotel over here. So then I have room for the hatchery. <sighs> Everything's obstructed. Oh my god. We need to make this bigger, don't we? Yeah, that's that's the only thing. Everything's going to be obstructed and all. And hmm. How are we going to do this? I've already got the facility. So we'll have every single thing here. We don't have any guests at the moment. Until we get our first dinosaur, we won't get any guests. There's this big space, like, over here. We could put, like, a facility, like, over here. We could do that. Yeah. I have an idea. That's what we could do. Let's go ahead and put everything in here. We'll have, like, a facility where all the dinosaurs can be, like, created and whatever. 
We need room for an arrival point. There we go. Maybe we can narrow this a bit. There we go, so we can preserve as much space as possible. And then we should probably do the same thing for this section. How much room do we have? Plenty, all right. We'll do the same thing for this section. So then we could just create dinosaurs everywhere. And we'll put in like maybe 15 species per episode since we have three hatcheries. Yeah, that's what we'll do. 15 carnivores per episode. And we'll keep doing this until we run out of carnivores. And Gigantoraptor will go in because I count them as kind of carnivores in a way. Okay, maybe not 15 species. We'll probably release 10. Maybe we'll release like three or six small carnivores, three medium-sized carnivores, and one large. That's what we'll do. Making these as small as possible so we can have whatever. Okay, you shouldn't be hatchery six. You should be hatchery three, hatchery one, and hatchery two. There we go. All right, let's upgrade the hatcheries. We'll go to additional bays and accelerated growth. We'll do the same thing for the other two. There we go. And now we'll have to place feeders all over the place. So we'll face, place regular carnivore feeders wherever we can. And then we'll place live prey feeders everywhere we can too. All right, so let's release four small carnivores, three medium carnivores, no, sorry, six small carnivores, four me three medium carnivores, and one large. All right, we'll have at least one apex predator by the end of this. Let's filter that to carnivore and piscivore. We won't count Dinochirus, by the way, so... All right, let's have... Let's start with the small carnivores. We'll start with small. All right, let's have... Uh, let's get some of the iconic ones out of the way, and then we can move on to the more obscure ones. So maybe some of the movie dinosaurs, like maybe... We'll start with Velociraptor right off the bat. I almost forgot to change some of the settings, like the uh, dinosaurs. Unlimited traits, enable that, there we go. All right, combat is turned off, so we should be good to go when it comes to that. We'll put Velociraptor in here. We'll get, since we're getting six small carnivores, we'll put two in each. We'll put Dilophosaurus in here as well. All right, we got two of them in there. For this one, I'm thinking about putting Compsignathus, and then we could throw in another small carnivore. How about Coelophysis? We'll throw that in. There we go, that's that done. And for this one, we'll probably put in Demetrodon, and maybe one other. So at least we'll have a bunch of small carnivores. A couple of medium-sized carnivores, and then one large carnivore. The hybrids, I'm thinking, we'll save for last. All right, Demetrodon, and what else should we throw in? How about... How about a Trosseraptor? We'll throw a Trosseraptor in, just so we have a wider variety of dinosaurs. All right, so that's our small carnivores. Let's move on to the medium-sized carnivores. So for medium, let's get some iconic ones. We'll get three of each. So let's get maybe Carnotaurus over here. We'll get like maybe two Carnotaurus, maybe three Ceratosaurus, and then maybe two Allosaurus. That's what we'll do. Carnotaurus, Ceratosaurus, and Allosaurus for right now. And then in here, we'll throw in Allosaurus. For the large carnivores, if they can have two, we'll put two of them in there. If it's just the one, we'll have just the one. So Spinosaurus will probably be just the one. T-Rex will be two. Giganotosaurus will be two. You know, all that stuff. And finally, let's put T-Rex in for large carnivores. So we'll have T-Rex go in this one. And then the next one we throw in will go into the second hatchery, just so we can have a wider variety of things in the large enclosure. So maybe for our next episode, we'll put Spinosaurus in there. So this might be a relatively short video, if you ask me. <laughs> Hopefully it's over eight minutes so I can get ad revenue. But anyway, all right, so T-Rex is being thrown in. Let's see if we get any movie skins. Sonoran Desert, Chalcrana, Saladar, Huasco. We got a Jurassic Park Raptor. 
All right, we only got one Jurassic Park Raptor. All right, did we get any Dominion um, Dilophosaurs? We did. We got a Dominion Dilophosaur. That's good. For the carnivores, what do we get? Or Carnotaurs, what do we get? All right, so we got a Dominion Carnotaur, and then for the other one, I'll probably go with this one. All right, so that's Carnotaurus. Compsognathus, all eight of them. Coelophysis, all ten of them. And then Ceratosaurus, two of them. We'll get these two. Three, even. And finally, Dimetrodon, we'll get all six of them. Atrociraptor, we got a ghost. We got two ghosts, a panthera, and that's it. All right, we'll throw them in. And then Allosaurus. And then the T-Rexes, what do we get? Little Edie and the, the Buck. The Buck T-Rex from the Lost World. All right, that's better than nothing. All right, let's start off with the smallest of the small, the Comsignathus. So we can at least have our first dinosaur in here. Alright, let's move on to Seal of Physis. We'll release the small ones first. Alright, that's all the small carnivores here. Let's release the raptors. Go. That's the raptors taken care of. Let's move on to the dillos. Alright, we have combat turned off, so none of the carnivores should fight for territory or anything like that. So that's done. Let's move on to the dimetrodons. Alright, that's Dimetrodon done. Let's move on to Atrociraptor. Alright, so that's Atrociraptor done. Now let's move on to the larger carnivore. So we'll start with Carnotaurus. Taurus done. Let's move on to Ceratosaurus. Alright, that's Ceratosaurus done. And finally, Allosaurus. So that's Allosaurus done, and last but not least, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alright, so that's the carnivore-only park set up, the first... 10 species done. We'll move on to the next 10 in the next episode. And we'll see, like, what goes on here. So we got the two T-Rexes. We got Little Edie and, I believe, the male from the Lost World. Yep, the male from the Lost World is here. For the raptors, we only have the big one. 
Well, the Jurassic Park Velociraptor. It's not this one. It's this one. There we go. The big one from Jurassic Park. For the Dilophosaurus, we have one Dominion one. I can't tell which one it is. It's this one. There's our Dominion Dilophosaurus for us, so it seems like we at least have one movie skin for each of those species. Compsognathus doesn't have any movie skins. Ceratosaurus doesn't have any movie skins. And, uh... I figured we'd just do one Apex Predator at one at a time. And then Coelophysis obviously doesn't have one. Demetrodon, do we have any movie skins for the Demetrodons? No, alright, we don't have any movie skins for the Demetrodon. Allosaurus, I don't think we have any of the 2022 skins. We just have the random evolution skins. And then for the Atrociraptors, we have two ghosts and a panthera. So, so far, the carnivore-only enclosure is being filled up. We'll have to see what goes on from here. Yeah, this could be a relatively short video simply because, like, I just want to get as much done as possible. Well, not as much done, but, like, uh, I want to separate them into multiple episodes. So, how many carnivores do we have in total? So, hold on. Um, okay, so, that's five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 44. So we at least have enough for, or 43 in this case. We at least have enough for four episodes anyway. So don't worry, we'll get some more carnivores being released as the time goes on. But yeah, I figured we released 10 at a time. And now let's uh, try to boost the rating. So let's... Uh, Make everyone satisfied. I usually do this off camera, but not today. Since this will probably be a relatively short video anyway. Alright. The guests better not complain about anything because we don't have anything. The only thing they'll probably complain about is overcrowding, but that's about it. We want this to kind of be as immerse, immersive as possible. That's the word I'm looking for, immersive. So we're already filling this place up with carnivores a little bit. Some carnivores are making their way to other sections, like the Dilophosaurs are making their way to the Coelophysis territory. Demetrodons are also making their way over to the Coelophysis territory. So yeah, Allosaurus owns this land, Ceratosaurus owns this land, and obviously T-Rex owns this land. Though the T-Rexes are kind of making their way over to here. But yeah, that's all 10 species, and yeah, with that, I think that's going to have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.